Okay, so I'm making the uh, during decision to come back here and get the baler because I have to rebuild the hay. And uh, you can see how this is actually the hay field right here that we had to sacrifice uh, a good chunk of it for road because this is filled up with water. Since we bailed that hay back there, it has rained probably another two to three inches. Oh my gosh, I don't know how this is gonna work. The stuff that I first started bailing is all fine, but towards later in the evening, it was like eight, nine o'clock, the moisture started shooting up because the dew was coming up out of the ground and the hay was just soaking it up like a sponge. So that creek over there is like cutting through and going down our road now. It's supposed to be over here, but it's we've had so much rain that this creek right here is flooded this is our drainage ditch and it's flooded coming over to here and so this is all this is all the stuff that i bucketed water off from <laughs> this is the part that i have to access uh because there's no other way out of here i don't know what to do i really wanted to bring the baler back that night but eric insisted that i had to wait for the road to dry up at this rate, I don't think the road will ever dry up and those bills are just gonna rot. Heck, there's a, there's a minnow on my road, swimming down the water. Gosh. Next thing you know, I'm gonna see a trout go by. <sighs> Guys, I don't know. I don't think I can pull the baler through this. I mean, that's like 12 inches of water over there. I mean, screwed I don't know what I can do I don't know what I can do oh, the only other thing I can think of is maybe the neighbor would let me bring the baler down through their yard their area but I'd have to drive through a lot I, I don't even want to do that because they've got low wet areas too and their tractor is a little tiny thing so if I try driving through their area with my giant tractor and baler, I could end up sinking and being stuck on their property instead of being stuck on my property. Oh my gosh. We've never had this much water on this road ever. Not even in the winter time has it been this bad. This is the little tiny drainage pond. Oh gosh, I really, really, really wish I had not listened to him and I just brought it back. Oh my gosh, it just, it does not end. This whole thing has just been so, so bad. <sighs> but at least the grass looks pretty good. At least the field is looking okay. Definitely need some fertilizer again. So upset. Um, in years past, we have tried going through here but if that area is flooded i know that's going to be flooded too and that is an actual water hole so there's a good chance that i would probably just get stuck all right this is the sort of thing that is better to have eric's gopro attached on the back but i just grabbed this real quick because uh yeah so uh, i'm gonna engage our four-wheel drive which is right here uh, we're in gear two, which I think will be fine. I don't think I'm gonna swing it around the bales there. We're in tow mode, so everything's up as high as it will go in this tractor. This might be a little slow. We might have to go a little faster. We might have to crank this baby through. I mean, Eric was blasting with the carts full of hay through this mud with the truck. <sighs> yeah. Fun stuff. All right, so um, crank this up into B3, taking the bunny off. So I've got the bunny in my back pocket in case I need to like uh, skedaddle out of here. <laughs> this is uncharted territory. I have never drove this thing with equipment through <sighs> a water hole. Okay, everybody say a little prayer. Every day for the next two weeks, we're supposed to get rain. So if I don't bring the baler back today, 
I'm not going to be able to rebale that. The tractor can get through this. That's not what I'm worried about. I'm worried about the baler. Now the tractor can pull the baler through it, but the question is, how much mud is this thing going to collect going through this? It might not collect any. It might be perfectly fine. On the other hand, it sits really low and it might collect a whole pile of mud. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I think I'm going to do it. Woo. Okay. Okay. I think I'm going to go. All right. Guys, say a little prayer. Oh boy. Here we go. Hopefully I don't go into that pond. Okay. Sorry, Baylor. I'm so sorry, Baylor. Okay. So far, it's riding above it. I think that was the worst. I think I can pull off up here. <gasps> Hallelujah. Okay. The rest of this, I can climb up here. Oh, thank you, Lord. Okay, I was expecting like a lot more excitement. So, sorry to disappoint you, but I'm happy at least. That was, that was pretty tame. Um, this is still pretty squishy, but the baler can go through that, okay? Whew. I feel like I was worrying about that for no reason, but based on the amount of stuff we've had to get stuck out here, I definitely have good reason to get worried. All right, let's get this puppy up to the barn.